I'm a happy cowboy. There's no one quite like WYBE Public Television. Let us take you there. I'm finally taller than Mr. Johnson. Yeah, you wish. <laughs> well, you can't see on TV he's, that I'm Ladies one... and gentlemen, he's a midget. His feet are right here, and he's standing on my stool. Now, you, I was with, you know, Barnum and Bailey Circus for uh -huh. years, and now you've told yes. everyone what I did before I came here. That's it's Mr. Johnson's terrible. stool. In case I... You gonna fall, sit down, or I you gonna might. stand up for the I show? I might. He said he'd never stand for the show, and I don't blame him. I don't Arr. think I would either. What are we doing today? I don't know. Let's get the witch in here and find out. Where is that witch? <laughs> there she is. Well, let me get on out of here. Oh, I'm in trouble already. I haven't even started, and I'm already in trouble. What? Because the hamburger is still frozen. Oh, no. Well, it'll thaw. It will. I'm going to break it into big pieces. No, yeah. I don't need the microwave right oh, now. Oh, it's, it's coming unglued. It's coming unglued. It's been right. thawing for two days in the refrigerator. What's with it? Dear L and L, how about some southwestern recipes? I'm tired of all that Pennsylvania Dutch stuff. <laughs> Besides, Grandma was a Pueblo Indian. Oh, that's Can't wonderful. Can't wait to see what you come up with. And it's signed Alice Lone Squirrel McGee <laughs> of Barn Dance, New Mexico. Barn Dance, uh -huh. New Mexico. Yep. So, uh, well, we're going to do recipes with an exotic flair. I'm going to do green chili casserole sent in by Barry and Emily Hayden of Radford, Virginia. And I'm doing a tomato salad sent in by Madeline Brinkley of Hot Springs, Virginia. David Brinkley's wife? No, no, no. Oh, but oh. some of his people, but <laughs> not his wife. And uh, the very lovely Miss Thing, Miss Doris, is coming in to do a tomato salad. Uh, corn casserole. Uh, yep. Sent in okay. by Judy Peacock of Eastman, Georgia. We got them from all over today, don't we? Hot yep, Springs, we do. Radford, and Eastman, Georgia, but none from Pennsylvania right. today. <laughs> got them all. Now, well, I'm going to start mine and then just turn it over to Bly for do a while. Do you you need to start with a small package of strawberry, or I'm sorry, of raspberry <laughs> jello and a half a cup of boiling water. And that's all I'll say about this mess and put right up now. Well, I'm frying about a pound of hamburger, and I need some salt and pepper. Where is it? You know, Doris doesn't prep us like she used to. Yeah. She's kind of gotten bored with the show this year. In fact, she's mentioned the fact she hates coming down here anymore. And I can tell, because we kind of have to look around for things. <laughs> she brought the salt and pepper while I was gone. <laughs> Where was it when I needed? Thank you, Doris. She's wonderful. You know, we have to say nice things about her because people think that we don't like her. Remember that Huffy Man? Where's that Huffy Man yeah. from? Huffy Man. Where was he from? Wrote that nasty letter to Richmond? Yeah. Do you ever notice we get a lot of Huffy letters yes. from Richmond? Well, if you lived in Richmond, you'd be Huffy, too. Oh, here we go. <laughs> now, now, why are we doing this? Why? <laughs> well, you know, it's the holy city. We love Virginia. Richmond. We <laughs> love you down there. You've been down there. They've been watching us longer than any other market except for this one. That's true. Mm. We've been there every year except one. It's a true story. But anyway, we love them. We love you. We love you to death. You're a real pain, but we love you. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, and that ought to get us in trouble once and for all. All right, so anyway, we're going to fry some burger up real good here. And, uh, and then I'm going to have to take a leak uh, over here and do some <laughs> stuff. Larry. I'm going to take this leak, and I'm going to slice it all up and clean it. What's wrong, Doris? Have you got the giggles today? That's all I'm going to use. You don't want to use that. You don't use that part, do you? Well, she can't stop laughing long enough to answer me. 
You got to clean them real good. She tells me that what you do is this. Well, look, it looks yeah. pretty clean inside. See, if you look at that, isn't that, it's just like pieces of paper in there. That's but if one of those TV leaks. If you do that, <laughs> separate it. I'm going to go back here and watch it. Go ahead, Lady. Well, I'm still diddling around in here with this raspberry jello. have to go home. You got it. You know, it has to be well uh, dissolved <laughs> in a half a cup of boiling water. All right, Larry, it's all yours. Oh, yeah. thanks, Lady. You're just so <laughs> kind. I appreciate it. So I'm going to take this now and, and chop it up. And I'm also going to have to chop up a couple of onions. It seems to me like there's an awful lot of onions and stuff like this in here. But, you know, I, I did one of these at home. The one I did at home is, is in the oven right now. And neighbors came over and said how good the stuff smelled. But, you know, what can you do when you do this? When you're frying up this many onions, it's got to smell good. Mm -hmm. You know, that used to be Tootsie's big secret. Tootsie would lay around and watch soap operas all afternoon, but about an hour before her husband came in, she'd say, Larry, go throw some onions on the stove. <laughs> and it fooled him every time. He always thought there was something cooking. Uh -huh. And it was, just a few onions. He didn't know that. Never caught on. So anyway, frying this, you got to fry it up pretty well, okay? Mm -hmm. or, or real, see, that's, that's, oh, that's yeah. lovely. That's lovely. So you'll continue chopping these things. All right, well, while you're doing that, Madeline says to use one pound of whole tomatoes stewed or okay. Now, she didn't say whether it was a live raw tomato or whether it was a cooked tomato. But I took that, since she said stewed were okay, that it was canned tomatoes, and you don't need to mash them up with a fork because nowadays the manufacturers dice tomatoes. Do it for you. And do it for you. So I've got a what used to be a 16-ounce can of diced tomatoes, and it now is 14 and a half ounces because they've got cheap on them. And put them all in with the juice. Oh, good Lord. Oh, now you've done it. The top was off of it. Well, that's all right. It's going to be a little spicy because I'm... <laughs> this makes me mad. All right. Never mind. It's going to be a little peppery. This one's going to be for the staff. <laughs> something real, something real big must have yeah, just happened. Yeah, they need to be spiced the, up around The sales here. department uh, has come into the studio while we're on uh, the air. Do you suppose they're trying to tell us something? <laughs> they wouldn't be trying to tell us they've underwritten the show. Oh. Ah. Oh, listen, he's laughing. This is going to be real peppery, ladies and gentlemen, because I had the wrong end open. All right, now I've got to take a medium onion and chop it up at this point. I think there's an awful lot of onion and stuff in this, but... There's very little of anything else in here, so maybe that's why. And I'll tell you something else that happened. You learn something every day. Bless you. <laughs> I think that one of our camera people has distemper. Where is it? Oh, here it is. I could not find corn tortillas because I'm told by Miss Doris, who knows everything, that they are not found in the regular little Mexican food section of the store, which is where I was looking. Corn tortillas are found in the dairy section. I didn't know that. Yeah. So I bought flour. I can't help it. I didn't know what else to do. Live and learn. There you go. That's what this show is all about. What? What is she talking yeah, off camera? Know. Come over here, Doris. <laughs> Come over here. In, now, what did the, you just talk in right into my chest? In the dairy section or where the luncheon meats are. Uh -huh. That's where you'll find the Mexican stuff. Well, next time you go with me. Okay. I <laughs> okay. All right. Now, in this bowl, yeah. I have the raspberry jello and the can of tomatoes, diced tomatoes. It is blood red. It is really red. And all you do now <laughs> do not is adjust your set. pour this into a mold or you could leave it right in the bowl and it will mold. What? It'll the mold, mold and the bowl uh, and mold. Mold and the bowl. Okay. <laughs> now that being done, 
Uh, I think it's good the salespeople watch the well, show. Oh, it is. It's amazing. He's getting a big kick out of it. He uh -huh. says, well, that's such a bad show. Maybe I could, hey, oh, there we are. Mr. Johnson is, uh, what are you doing? I'm getting out the, the now, one. Now, this is pretty. You'll be impressed. This is the one I did at home. This. And now I'm going to make a, a horseradish sauce for it. Ooh. Well, so, this does sound good. I will have mm, to do that. Doris and I had a lot of fun getting this out of the mold. It was very interesting. Boy, the staff is going to light up when they get hold of this one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Old Larry will be taking the one home that he cooked at home properly. The one that I dumped all the pepper in stays here. Uh, you're right. It is true. People die every day of too much salt. No one has ever died of too much pepper. Remember that. You can never overdo the pepper, I swear. It's true. What am I doing now? Drifting off. Now i got to open up some cream of mushroom soup. And I'm cutting this off because it's pretty much done at this point. Doesn't even need to be drained because I bought real lean burger. <sighs> Why don't you give those up? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to open oh, up you're this trying sour to open cream. Something. All right. I'm going to put a little milk in with this. And for some strange reason, you, you mix the, the leek and the onion in this stuff. <laughs> I would think that you would fry it with a burger. That's something else that I'm wondering about. But what can you no, do? No, you just pour it just over. Just pour it over it. That's all you do. Well, it's not coming up. <laughs> it's not a good day for me. Actually, it's been a pretty good day overall. Are you having fun, ma'am? You can say anything you want to. You can yell, scream, do anything. It's an ensemble production. We have several people sitting around, standing around the studio, wondering, what is it? Why did I throw the can away? I need the can. I don't know. That was kind of peculiar. That much. All I'm right. pretty good at this. That much now, milk. Now, I have put a cup of sour cream into a small bowl, and I'm going to finish it with two teaspoons of horseradish, except I think that's mighty puny, but that's what I'll do. Oh, jalapenos. One. Two, and a little bit for good luck. What are you making, Johnson? A sauce for this out of sour cream and horseradish. Oh, okay. And it's got to have a little sugar, a teaspoon of sugar. Is this one I... of those church dinner type things? Well, I don't know whether you'd take this to church or not. Take it anyway. You got... can get a teaspoon of salt or a sugar. Yeah. I'm not chopping jalapenos, ladies and gentlemen. Into the soup and a little milk. We're going to put the peppers. Close enough. And into that, you're also going to put the leeks and the onions and mix it all together. That's an awful lot of stuff. And make sure you're real, you don't get it all over everything, like I just did. There you go. There we go. Boy, what a mess. I'm going to add a little bit of milk to that, I think. I believe it needs just a little bit more. You can thin it down. It's not going to hurt it. Doesn't that look good, Mr. Johnson? Mm -hmm. Makes you want to eat it right out of the bowl, doesn't it? Sure does. Okay. And uh, I'll be ready for the next part of this momentarily. Go right on. All right. Well, here's the sauce. Cup of sour cream, two teaspoons of horseradish or to taste and a teaspoon of sugar. And once that's all mixed together, you just want to kind of spread it around on the top of this thing. And take your time spreading it around well, I over will. the top of the thing there. I can That's pretty. Now, put some over on the other side there. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the <laughs> kind direction. Just trying to cheer you on here. <laughs> oh. You've got to be Look kidding. This. I'll, never, I'll never last till the end of the show. Oh, thank you. Well, now, Mr. Johnson's doing his... You know, that does look good. I've had this before. Haven't you? Have you mm, ever never no. had this before? I think I have. I've never had raspberry jello and tomatoes at the same time. Well, maybe I have them, but I've had the uh, tomato aspic with the yeah. horseradish stuff on right. top of it. Maybe that's what I'm thinking, and it's real good. Now, do you bake that? or? No, it's finished. Do you bake it? <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm 
surrounded today. By idiots. <laughs> completely surrounded by ignets. Well, anyway, so that's mine. I'm completely finished. I don't have another thing to well, do. Well, I'm certainly sorry to hear that. To now table. we're going to, ladies and gentlemen, take the cameras down the hall and interview people in offices. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't no, you I want have me to give my recipe? Yeah, let's All do right, the recipe. Let me get my recipe. And then I'll do part two of this mine. This is Madeline's tomato salad. One package of raspberry gelatin. A half cup boiling water, pound of whole tomatoes stewed okay, but actually diced is better. Uh, and for the dressing, a cup of sour cream, one teaspoon of sugar, and two oh. teaspoons of horseradish. And uh, that's it. <laughs> oh, okay. The uh, <clears throat> the green chili casserole, two jalapenos diced, can of cream of mushroom soup, a leek chopped a medium onion chopped, a can of black olives, a pack of Mexican cheese, one and a half pounds lean ground beef. Uh, you can also, by the way, substitute uh, chicken uh, if you want to. And it makes an approximately 12 corn tortillas, if you can find them. Oh, and in a couple corny. of minutes, a very lovely <laughs> Miss Doris is going to be in here. <laughs> uh, take these tortillas. Here's what you do. I don't know why. You put these flat. See, if I were doing this recipe, what I would do is take the hamburger and put it in the tortilla, roll those up, put them all the way across, put all the other goop on top of it, cheese on top of that. Don't you think that makes sense? You could do it, But that's not that the way one. you're supposed to do it. So anyway, you take that and put it down. Well, I think I could put another one in here. This is a little bit larger than the one I had. This is supposed to be greased, isn't it? She doesn't know. She doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> she hardly even shrugs anymore. She hardly gives me the time of day on this recipe. Well, you're supposed to layer this, and perhaps I should for the sake of time, but I'm not going to. So anyway, put that in there. And then the next thing you do is you put this, not all of it, just a little bit. This is your onion mushroom goop stuff goes in there. And perhaps just a little bit of cheese. The Mexican cheese. I think that's funny. I don't know why. You know, Mexican cheese is just a bunch of different cheeses mixed together. Put that in there, and you layer another one, another one. Uh, let's give this to the staff. There we go. And then you take the rest of this and put it on top, like so. Push it all around. Then on top of that goes some of the olives, which I've also gotten pre-chopped. I'm sorry, I'm getting as bad as you, Johnson. Mm -hmm. I just don't have time. I'm just so harried anymore. You know, three or four careers, it's difficult to do that. And I also put a few on top. Just a few. Stop laughing. So anyway. 325 degrees, 15 to 20 minutes. And it all just looks real pretty and that's real just nice. Just barfs up together. <laughs> it's great. It's perfect. And I'll take it out of the oven in a little bit and let you see what it's like. Well, the Doris is. Oh, you want to do that? Yeah, okay. let's let's have the cook sister. And then we'll get all old Miss they, thing in here. Miss Ford. <laughs> Miss Ford. She'll come in. She's a little grumpy today. But I'm going to kiss up on her, give her a little smooching, get her in the mood to go on TV. Here are the cook. Hey, sis. Yes. Beads. Beads. Nice beads. When They're you're making lovely. a berry pie. And they have little messages on them so <laughs> you can read them. What's it say? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It says, she is a big fool. <laughs> oh, well. When you're making a berry pie. Uh-huh. And you don't want the crust to stick and get soggy. Right. What you do is you sprinkle the bottom of the crust with mixture of flour and sugar. Oh, it's a miracle. It's, it's another amazing. wonderful thing for me. Oh. I, Tootsie Cook. And I'm Sister Cook. And, and we're, we're the Cook sisters. sisters. And now, ladies and gentlemen, through the miracle of electronics, she's not actually here, but through chroma key, uh -huh. we have Doris Ford. And it'll look like she's actually standing beside me. Actually, she is uh, She is in uh, Naganaw, right. or whatever that place is. And so anyway. <laughs> How are you doing? Nagano. <laughs> Nagano. I'm doing Naganaw. That's in Maine. <laughs> oh, for Pete's sakes. Well, hey, nobody at CBS could pronounce it either, no, so I it's okay. Hey, Doris, you look like you're actually standing beside me. Right, and, and I even feels like take it. Your, take your time. Okay. Uh, does anybody want a couple puppies? <laughs> oh, no. no. <laughs>
somebody dropped off puppies in front of my house. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. And I can't even get the SPCA to well, talk about it. Anybody that takes Well, what kind are they? I think they're little hounds and probably mixed up with something. Then, but they're tearing my house to shreds and driving us all insane. Then they're about this big and cute, black this and white. But by the time you see this, they'll be... I was going to say, this will be real meaningful six years from now. <laughs> really? no, no. Go ahead. But anyway, I had to make a casserole. It's pretty. And uh, I tried it last night for supper, and it was pretty good. It takes two cups of fresh or frozen corn, one cup of cooked rice, one medium onion chopped, one green pepper chopped, one small can of mushrooms, and then you uh, brown your mush your um, onions and your uh, green pepper in some oil, and then add your the rest of the ingredients. I guess to warm it up more than anything, and then make a, a white sauce out of four tablespoons of margarine, four tablespoons of flour, and one and a half cups of milk, and a half a cup of the drained juice from the mushrooms. If you didn't don't have that then add all milk. Now, I had fresh mushrooms at home, so I used fresh mushrooms in it, and it was very good that way. And it's sort of like a cream... Did you grow like these cream. mushrooms? You and Harold no. grow these mushrooms? I just wanted I, to I mean, I thought, in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that would be pretty neat one time, get those logs, and what do you call those? Suzuki? Oh, I bought did, did, did it work? A couple of Christmases ago, I got yeah. him one of those things from the catalog, and you water it, what, every yeah. day or every yeah. couple yeah. of days. Gave him that thing, and what happened? Well, it was all ramped up, and he gave it to me ahead of time because he was going out of town. <laughs> and by the time I opened it up, every the, they had come out and then croaked. <laughs> and it's so, the biggest mess I've ever seen. So he, but he held on to it for a while because we then, held yes. hope that they were actually going to produce mushrooms. And but they actually, so he just had this big mess yeah. sitting around the house for a they long time. They just molded. I thought that would be kind of fun the to thought, try. It was the thought. That it counts. was. It was That's a lovely right. thought. It didn't work. But, but th this is a pretty good recipe. The cholesterol is pretty, you know, with all that cream, whatever stuff in it. But I guess this is an old-timey southern type you could Thanks. use that uh, uh, evaporated uh, non-fat milk, and that works instead of cream. Well, I did. I did cut back on the, you know, use the main, the margarine that was cheap. Mm -hmm. I didn't use the other. So. Well, that's about all we can say time? about that, but thanks a lot, and it's okay. real pretty, and we hope to see it on a table near us. Yes, and, and we Very will, lovely, yeah. Doris Ford. I have to get mine out of the. And you've uh, got to uh, tell us your recipe. Too, oh, I haven't told the recipe. Didn't I? I've already done that. Did, did he? Our, <laughs> Mr. Johnson just sort of wigged out there for a few minutes. He just sort of lost it. That's okay. It happens to me all the time. One of these drawers, that's the one. Okay. <laughs> I can never remember which one it is. <laughs> Would you put that in there for the staff? And don't tell them about the pepper, please. Ooh, this looks good. It smells good, too. We'll find out, I reckon. Laban, that's real pretty. It's a pretty dish, I think. Mm-hmm. Boom, it's out of here. I was wondering about whether you can actually... Well, look at that. You can serve it. Well, look. Look at that. It serves beautifully. Uh -huh. I didn't think that you'd be able to. This lady knows what she's doing. I should leave her alone. Well, maybe she does. Maybe she does can't get it out of the dish. Oh, that's attractive. There we go. Nah. Oh, it looks delicious. Uh huh. And I'm sure it would have been delicious with corn tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> he is so mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're looking for corn tortillas. Don't go to the Mexican food section. Go to the dairy case. I didn't know that. I really, I can't know everything. That's See, that's the wonderful thing about the show. We still learn, too. And one time, <laughs> one time eight, in the last 18 years, I think there was once even an occasion when Laban learned something uh -huh. on the show, but I can't remember. But I can't remember. What it was. But I, He's I'm done sure forgotten it. Isn't that I want to taste this jello stuff. It looks beautiful. It really does. I'm going to try Miss Doris's. Well, what do you think? <laughs> This is, uh, <laughs> it's what? Mine. This what? is bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to try Doris's. What is this stuff, Doris? I've already forgot. It's a corn casserole. It's pretty good. I think that I would prefer just plain old corn, what is that, baked pudding. 
but uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> tortillas are come flying in here from everywhere. Well, I'm going to try yours and see if it's as bizarre as you say it is. I haven't tried mine yet, but I'll try this first. All right. You know, it's not an entree, Hoo -hoo. <laughs> and it's it's not a dessert. Um, I don't know what it is. What what is it? it it's it, like an it, aspic. It's it's a go along. It's a side dish, like a salad. It's interesting. I can't say that I dislike it. I think it's mm -hmm. interesting. It's not something I would prepare, but I would appreciate it if you would. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think of mine? Yours is delicious, Doris. I think yours. Mm, it is. is kind of starchy flavored well yeah we have some interesting dishes here and uh mm. and we have old dobbin behind the camera mm -hmm. you know so yeah stomping his feet well what can i tell you this is great this is interesting good i think in its own way mm -hmm. and who knows about that come back again <laughs> mm. <laughs> we hope you'll come back again and again. <laughs> out more about Cook and Cheap by visiting our website at cookandcheap.com. For a set of this season's recipes, send $4.95 plus $2.50 postage and handling to Cook and Cheap. Barbara Smith, host of Philly Live, and you're watching W.